Hello and welcome to another episode of The Zoo. Today we're going to look at what's new in MyIT 3.1. Larry Tube, the product manager, is here to help me understand about all the enhancement that was built in uh, in the latest version of our, my, of our self-service app. It's a modern self-service app for you who don't know that out there. that allow you to access IT and business services from any device and it's very consumer driven. So. Very excited to hear what you've cooked up this time, Larry. I understand that you integrated with something called HR case management. What's that? That's right. So um, HR case is a new solution from BMC. And really what it is, is it is um, a service catalog, but specifically targeting HR related services uh, for your organization. So typically you would have to go to a, set, a separate portal to be able to access specific HR information. And with the latest version of HR case integrated directly into my IT, um, your end users can now access all of those services directly from uh, the MyIT application, the same as they would have done for any of their typical services uh, in the organization. So simply going to the catalog, they can now find all those HR specific um, things like updating your benefits or potentially um, requesting vacation pay or various specific HR related items um, that they can now request directly through MyIT. They get fulfilled through the HRK system um, with specific type of routing, specifically to deal with some of the, the sensitivity information around HR related requests. And ultimately you can track them the same as you do everything else in MyIT. So this is uh, a deep integration with a whole business section thing that you're bringing HR in as a business service into MyIT. You could do My the same thing with facility management, for example, if you needed to, right? Correct. So it's HR specific services, but as well, a lot of HR knowledge and knowledge articles and help, et cetera, et cetera all now surface directly through IT. Providing that why? end users really is the goal, right? Yeah. No, and that's a, and that's a good way to start because bringing IT and business services into one single uh, catalog is really what we've been striving for here. HR seems to be one of the few services that we use like IT fairly frequently. Uh, revisit so that's, that's an, that, that, that makes sense and i've seen in a it seems to be that many it companies that's the first step outside of it management seem to be yeah. hr and facility management those two things those are the two big ones that we keep on hearing a lot of so really the hr and facilities as you mentioned are the two areas that we've seen the most growth outside of the it organization that we're now trying to bring into that single portal experience which is presented through the my it interface so next to you know request a new laptop, you can also request PTO. It, it really is, exactly, exactly. It really is how you want to set up those catalogs. Um, what we've also introduced in the latest version is this concept of, if you look at MyIT over the last couple of releases, we've really focused on the end user portal um, of the catalog specifically by creating new segmentations and we call them groupings or buckets of information and how you present that information to your end users. Um, with the latest version of MyIT, we now support mixing those data sources. So potentially um, the one that I like to, to, to use in this example is really like a new user onboarding, right? So instead of just having services, you can now group these services around a typical theme, new user or a new employee onboarding might be one of those themes. And you can then have um, some of the typical IT services, like set up your password, register for your, your um, corporate badge, spin up your development environment. Here's some of the HR um, forms you need to fill out within a given first couple of weeks of employment. Here are some of the services that you can do to register for that uh, health insurance and medical and everything else, all bucketed together in one new grouping, which makes it easy for users to find and obviously consume all the services that they need to deal with in a certain time frames. Um, those can potentially be set up based off of roles or entitlements um, to really harness or target that information to those specific users. And when, you, when you're looking at the whole, map, we used to call it mass customization, the idea that you can bring very specific, not only service and product, but needs. So if, if a person need something because of their role and so on, it's very easy for them to find it. It's right there in their face, so to speak. How important is that today? with the attention span of a five-year-old. I think that's key. I think if you look at, as you mentioned, the attention span, people want information very quickly. They don't have the time to go in and really hunt down what they're looking for. So one of the goals of my IT specifically is really to start to target that information, make it a little bit more dynamic, 
start to anticipate based off a of role, location, need, time frame, circumstance, and present the relative information right on that homepage for users to come in and try and um, find their answers, their solutions instantly. So that's really the goal. So you'll see a whole bunch more of those type of enhancements in MyIT. Um, one in 3.1 with some of those new theming options around the buckets. But as we move forward, we're going to make those more and more dynamic uh, with the introduction of default groups around most common services, most used knowledge articles, um, common types of themes. New user was one of them, but potentially uh, another one we hear a lot of is road warriors, people who travel a lot. They need a specific grouping of items. Um, we'll start to be building more of these dynamic uh, buckets as we move forward. When you say dynamic buckets, how, how does that come up? I know that is a little bit further out, but how would that happen based on usage or the data that is actually generated by people actually interacting with the system? So that would be one aspect. So you could start to build out a bucket so you can hand build those buckets um, and you can specify, show me uh, knowledge articles that are most popular or show me knowledge articles that are most viewed or show me the top services for a given um category of items that are being used in the organization and then start to surface that more dynamic type of content directly on that uh, initial browsing experience. That's rather interesting. What else have you built into 3.1 that people need to know about? And there was a um, lot of en small enhancement that they might not have been big product features, but has made life easier for the average uh, MIT user. So I've kind of cut, touched on a couple of them. So obviously HR case was a big, a big, a element right there. Um, we've also included those dynamic buckets, which the ability to mix and match data sources around themes was another really big um, effort for the 3.1 um, release. The other big one was really around deep linking. So um, we've had this the request from multiple customers, which is the ability to share out a direct link to my IT in context of what it is that you want. So if I found a knowledge article that helps me fix a problem with my Mac, rather than just telling someone about it through crowdsourcing or through email saying, hey, go to my IT, do a search for this thing and try and find the same thing that I had, I now have the ability directly from within the application to share that. So by simply clicking a share button, it generates a custom URL to that specific um, item of note. It could be a knowledge article, it could be a service request, um, it could be a category of services. Yeah, Elf, go and have a look at all the latest HR related um, services or offerings, and being able to paste that extra that URL into an email or share it through a chatter window, and that will drive you back into my IT um, in context of what it is that you were trying to share them. So that's another big enhancement that we added in the latest release. I'll drive you to the specific instance where you need to be to provide information, or answer a question, or whatever. Okay, well, that's that, that, that's a big improvement. Okay, great. Um, when is the next release of my IT coming out? By the way. So we're looking at probably sometime in the summer, um, June, July-ish is what we're looking at um, at the moment. Any major releases, features that you can share with us for that? Um, again, there'll be more improvements around um, some of these dynamic groupings of the catalog that I already touched on. Um, that's a big one that we're gonna be looking at over the next time, the next release. Mm -hmm. uh, and there'll be additional enhancements to some of the uh, shopping cart type of features. So. In 3.0 and 3.1, we've made enhancements to the shopping cart. So one, being able to add multiple items to a shopping cart and then be driven through a systematic checkout flow. Um, we've now expanded that to have um, dynamic calculation of the cost of items within there. Um, we will be adding the multiple quantities, so the ability to add order quantities of items. So I need three new Macs for my team. I can go in and order three and then associate those with different people. Um, there are some things around impersonation that we're looking at as well. So being able to impersonate other users. I want to, uh, my assistant needs to act on my behalf in order to order things for me or procure services for me. Um, so starting to introduce some of those concepts in there as well. Very interesting. I can't wait. Well, thank you very much, uh, Larry. If, if, you, if people want to know more about this, they can go to our community site, I understand, and, and as well as BMC. If you're a customer, you can go to BMC Docs. There's details about all the new features, all the enhancements there. Uh, if not, you can reach Larry at, uh, at L2 on Twitter, asking questions, and he'd love to get back to you. Thank you for coming and visiting you, Larry. Thanks a lot.
the rest of you out there, take care, be safe. Bye-bye.